Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really fantastic day thus far. And so in this video, I will be taking you guys through the latest in terms of what is happening across uh, the North Atlantic. And uh, the focus will be on the Caribbean, of course. I will be looking at what's currently going on uh, as well as what is expected in terms of rainfall activity for the next 24 hours. And we'll be looking a bit into the future because signs are pointing towards some sections of the region receiving some increased and well-needed rainfall so i'm going to be taking you guys through that so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update Okay, so as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can definitely see some activity across some areas. Uh, in the Gulf of Mexico, we see quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm development. Uh, there is that front well off the east coast of uh, North America. We see some thunderstorm activity within the vicinity of the Bahamas and also lots of activity in northern South America and along the H. Now, as we progress to the coast of Africa, there we have a blob of some activity activity and this is the sort of trend we're seeing now with these and of course as I mentioned in a previous update uh, we're eventually going to be having that first tropical wave making its way from the coast of the continent but uh, as of right now there is some dry air out there as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the Saharan earlier map and so uh, here we can definitely see that uh, we have quite a bit of dust out there in the tropical Atlantic. And of course, as we head more towards those shades of oranges and uh, reds and even that pink shade, that is increasing quantities of dust out there in the atmosphere. And so uh, some of that is in the Caribbean region as well, especially uh, if you guys are in the Eastern Caribbean, you might be experiencing some hazy skies. And of course, it is sunny because there isn't much activity within uh, the area in terms of rainfall. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the regions. But we're going to be starting out with uh, parts of uh, northeastern South America. And so uh, looking at the current imagery here, we can see that there is quite a bit of convective activity. Lots of showers and thunderstorms seen in parts of uh, Venezuela. Also going to uh, the southern portion of Guyana, Suriname. And uh, even in sections of French Guiana as well, we can see some of that activity. And then, of course, uh, looking up where we have Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, and St. Vincent, we can see that there isn't much going on at all, maybe just some passing clouds at the most. Uh, going over to the ABC Islands, there we can see uh, that flow of activity coming from all of those showers and thunderstorms making their way across the area, uh, maybe inducing some cloudy skies, possibly with a brief shower or so, but nothing significant significant at this time and then go into the general region here uh, we can see that there is not really much but look down in Colombia a blob of all of that convection that's where we have lots of rainfall activity lots of thunderstorm activity taking place guys and so across uh, the rest of the region we can see that we've got that flow of activity coming from the west uh, not inducing too much and so now in terms of the rainfall expected between now and tomorrow so we're going to be looking at the euro and icon models in terms of what they anticipate. So we're starting out with euro, of course. And uh, as this map becomes more colorful, the higher the rainfall total is. And so here we can see that down in parts of southern Venezuela, going to Brazil, southern uh, Guyana, and in portions of Suriname, we see the highest totals. And so uh, those are flood triggering rains expected, guys. And if you're there, please take on a necessary precautions and stay safe because of course in the event of heavy rainfall uh, that flooding is always possible especially in the more vulnerable areas such as those low-lying areas so please take all necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks and so going to the Caribbean uh, it's contrasting what is expected down there because we're not seeing those very high totals uh, some rainfall activity is expected for parts of Jamaica going to Cuba and even sections of Hispaniola but uh, uh, for you guys in the Lesser Antilles, not much rainfall activity between now and tomorrow. Going over to Central America, some air is expected to receive maybe a bit of rainfall. And this is going to change. Just as how now we're seeing that uh, there isn't much expected, it's going to change. And I'm going to be taking you guys through what is expected in a moment. But let's move on to the icon. 
the model is showing those highest totals down in uh, sections of southern Guyana as well as Suriname and uh, showing the same general expectation for the Caribbean in terms of not much rainfall and maybe some showers today across sections of Cuba, Hispaniola, possibly for Jamaica as well. But for the most part, it's pretty dry and uh, hazy for some islands, especially the eastern islands, as I mentioned before. And so now we want to go ahead and talk about that increased rainfall activity that is expected. Firstly, I want to take you to the updated uh, Climate Prediction Center Global Tropics Hazards Outlook map here. And uh, we want to focus on next week as well as the following week, which is May 17th to the 23rd. And uh, where we have that green area is where we have that uh, likelihood or that probability of seeing above average rainfall. Now, as we zoom in here, we can see that sections of the Northwestern Caribbean and also going to the Bahamas are expected to receive that above average rainfall and I'm going to be showing you guys what the models are expecting in terms of rainfall total so we're going to be starting out with euro and uh there you have the time up to the top right side of your screen the forecast time and as we're going to be heading into this weekend we can see that the model is expecting increased rainfall across sections of the northern caribbean also for the bahamas and sections of florida but take a look at what is coming in from the west more moisture more rainfall activity uh likely across parts of the northwestern caribbean as you're going to be heading into the latter part of next week and the GFS is sort of in agreement with this there it is also showing that increased rainfall activity uh, in the vicinity of the Bahamas parts of the northern Caribbean and also in the vicinity of Florida it is definitely showing that increased activity over uh, in the west and heading toward the northwestern Caribbean uh, and eventually of course we are likely to see or experience that rainfall activity and if you're in sections of the eastern caribbean such as the lesser antilles i didn't forget you guys uh, unfortunately you guys are not expected to receive as much rainfall as what is expected over in the west so that doesn't mean you guys won't receive any rainfall whatsoever but just not as much uh, that sort of increase is not expected within your area and for those expected to receive that increase increased rainfall we could possibly see some flooding across some areas so even though many of us have been longing for the rainfall activity and it seems to be on the horizon we should still be cautious of the fact that uh, these expected rains could trigger flooding especially in those low-lying areas as I said so uh, please take all necessary precautions and stay safe should this be the outcome but of course even though there is some confidence with this uh, we're talking about something over a week from now and there can be changes with the forecast and as such i'll be keeping you guys updated on all that is anticipated and so uh, that is pretty much it for right now and uh if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise